Hi guys, welcome to nighttime on the day by day farm. A lot of work got done today. I can't wait to show you. I'm gonna show you in the morning, but one thing we're gonna show you tonight. It is actually freezing out. We could open the windows. Let there be light. All right, not much happened in here. But over in here, <coughs> get ready. <laughs> Where is that? I don't even know. <gasps> look at, just wait, just wait, look at the, oh, you guys can't tell, but the sunset is beautiful out there. Okay, go. <coughs> wow, it's amazing. So we're gonna change so, that one there. So Gabby hung up our two new lights. They're right there. That light over there is a double. Uh, we have more lights like this at home, so we're gonna bring them over. But I wanted we wanted to see out we wanted to come out and see in the dark how like how bright our barn would be. <laughs> Looks good. Uh, good job, okay. Gabby. These two, it'll be brighter. Some we like should change bulbs. those yellow bulbs too. Like, I don't know why people use yellow bulbs. Anyway, we cleaned up today. We got all the hay out. This is all the hay out. There's like tiny, tiny bits. I know our horses won't eat that. Uh, we're gonna level this up a bit and then we're ready here. But yeah, we can see everything. You can see everything. Oh yeah, so you tell them. I bought all the wood. It's coming next week. Sam so bought all the wood. It's being it's delivered Thursday, Thursday this week, right? Oh yeah, next week, Thursday. This week coming Thursday morning. So he bought wood. He bought a lot of wood. He So it'll fill in these spots. So this will all be wood, like a regular stall. And then all in there will be wood separating the horses, like a regular stall. The only part that he's not going to fill in is this front section. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'll sweep out. I'll see about the cobwebs tomorrow. So we measured all the stalls and they are uh, 12, 12 by 10. Oh, man, except for that one is 12 by, 14. oh yeah. So this one's 12, by this one's 14 by 10. This is 12 by 10, 12 by 10. And then this is 22 yeah, by 14. Yeah. So this one's gonna be huge. Is it only gonna go to here? No, that's where the, Oh, the door's there. Yeah. Yeah, so no, the rest is going to be wood. You're going to make I'm this. I'm not sure if, if I got enough wood from October, this all might be wood. Yeah, so like if he doesn't build this one all wood next week when the wood comes, he'll order more wood and he will eventually yeah, do this one. This and eventually that will all be wood too. But this was just temporary to get our horses home. But I love it. Like, I love being in the barn at night and it being this bright. Like, our arena was never this bright. This is beautiful. We didn't have lights in the arena. Yeah, we did. Well, we did, kind of. But, yeah, you need to put a light out there. It is gorgeous. I'm excited. Right. We still have to get rid of this thing. It's so heavy. And this was such back-breaking work, getting out the hay. Like... This is as good as it's going to get. There's like little tiny bits of hay. Every little, like, um, I'll try and get it out. But it, oh, it was back-breaking work. It was, let me tell you, it was three full days of hauling hay. Three full days. I'll show you guys. Just wait, let me show you. So, let's see. All right. So this is what we'd have to do. We'd have to scoop it up. And then we'd have to shake it. And shake it and shake it and shake it and shake it to get all the sand out. And it was like hours and hours of work. We got, it was like piled thick and we got it all out. So anyway, I'm proud of it. Good job, Sam. I'm finding really good lights. Yeah, I just, should buy, I just bought them to test them out. So now yeah. I'm buy more. Yeah, I'd like something over Chino's stall, but there's no lights over there. Well, you can angle the lights so they shine. This yeah, way. so you see that yellow light bulb right there? Yeah, and put two lights there. And you should put it. one there and angle it this way because it lights well, up a lot. Be, they're all going to be the same. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. That's all we wanted to show you. We did another huge job. We actually finished today, and we'll show you that in the morning. Good morning guys, welcome back to today's video. It is gorgeous outside, not hot at all. We have the air conditioners blasting. Oh, you got muffins? Cinnamon coffee cake and a variety pack. Cinnamon coffee cake, mmm. Clean the house, 
done the laundry. I've done everything. I'm waiting for the girls to wake up so that we can show you guys around. Show you what we finished last night. I got energy. I gotta get up. I gotta do stuff today. We're bringing the horses home. At least for a little while. But anyway, before we bring the horses home, and while the girls are getting ready, I'm gonna show you what we finally finished yesterday. All right, so we worked really hard yesterday, like so hard, you guys. This is where we put the wood. <laughs> yeah, I know, you're probably thinking that's not nice, but you know what, it was a lot of work. So I think maybe we can bring chickens, some chickens, home today anyways. So, dun 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 dun. Let me open both doors so you can see. I still have all my work stuff in here. Uh, I'd like to take credit for all of this, but it was not just me. In fact, it was all Sam. Although I learned to do, staple this stuff up. I did all this stuff and all this, this isn't done. This is the last piece I have to staple. And then Sam has to put a piece of wood. So we have a piece of wood in here because there was a gap and we needed to make sure it was safe for the chickens. So he needs, oh, he needs to put a piece of wood here. But this is it. I actually did sweep in here. It's just that there's so much dirt. <laughs> it's hard to tell. But anyways, today we're going to try and figure out how to open that door to go out into the coop. Uh-oh. Something was in here, I think. I don't know for sure. I'm going to have to set up a test. I did not leave all that straw on the ground. Huh. Ah, now I'm scared. Anyways, so Sam built this roost. It could have been done better for sure, but this is not like his favorite thing to do and I didn't want to stress him out. So I just said like, build whatever you can and it will work. Um, I wanted to use two by fours because chickens like to sit, especially in winter with their feet completely flat out and then they cover their feet with their body so that they don't get, um, frostbite so we have four rungs of that we have this little tiny one on the ground close to the ground for the silkies and then this was my project I suck at creating stuff do you guys hear a weird noise I'm freaking myself out this is the first time I've felt spooky out in this farm anyways if something jumps out at me I'm telling you guys I'm leaving you here and I'm running but anyways I made this, uh, maybe it just fell because it was all tucked up on the top of that thing. Anyway, I made this from Pinterest. It's this little nesting boxes. There's five of them and I put wood here so that the eggs won't roll out and it worked good. It's like this much bigger than the bottom of the crate. But then once I put the hay in there, it... It's not gonna work. It's to keep the eggs from falling down. But as long as it's like a nest like that, they should be fine. But anyway, I don't know. Something bizarre happened last night. I don't know why the hay is on the ground. And it's ugly and that's okay. I'm okay with ugly. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna figure that out. We might not be bringing any chickens home until I figure it out. Um, over here, we didn't do anything, but I know Sam will fix this up for me if I need him to. I'm glad we finished one project. Oh, thank goodness. Like it's actually cold, which is a perfect day for a trail ride. We're gonna do it at noon. I feel nervous because to be honest, there are no creatures here. Like I hear birds in the trees, but there are no snakes. There are no like little creatures running around. There's nothing alive here, which makes me nervous because something is eating it. Across the street is this like abandoned house and it's cute. Somebody owns it, but they don't live in it. They have a horse over there and then they have cats. So I, we saw the other day we were driving by and we saw six cats in the driveway, six. And then later that night we saw six raccoons in the driveway. So Sam and I were like, if there's another set of six, any kind of animals here, then I do not want to be living at the 666 farm. Like, holy heck. So I'm gonna go and get ready for our trail ride. Get things all planned out. I think what we're gonna do, tack up somewhere. I have no idea where. We're gonna tack up somewhere. And then I think we're gonna come out here, ride through there and ride down to the, to the trail. It'll give us like an extra three minutes of trail riding time. Look at this, I didn't even notice this. Whoa. So Sam 
must have done this sometime last night, but we're gonna need way more than four, so I'm gonna have to move these. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys something really funny. Okay, so if we're just casually sitting here, Gabby's having breakfast and- I'm muffin in my teeth. Oh, she's got chocolate in her teeth. So, don't you steal that ball. Don't steal it, don't you steal it. But watch this, every time I like scream, Molly goes crazy and she takes it, eight, don't you take the ball. Watch this, Sophie! <laughs> Every time. Ah! <laughs> 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 no, Sophie, I'm come on! I'm not here! I know I'm no, we're doing an experiment. <laughs> Smell something. <laughs> 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 Alright, so that was random, but we're finally ready. It is Ellie. Ellie, 11.30. We're headed over to the other house. It'll be a while before we get back here, but we're gonna bring our horses, and I'm so excited. All right, so first thing we have to do, we have to see what we're gonna do about Storm. Storm still has a lost shoe. He lost it on Thursday, and or probably Wednesday night. This is funny. They The horses are so, they miss us, you guys. Like, we're here three, sometimes, usually four times a day, and they just come rushing. But look at how noisy it is here. Like, look at that. It's so quiet where we live, the horses are not even gonna know what, what's happened. Anyway, Storm lost a shoe, and our fair, my farrier hair hasn't been able to get out yet. So, we're gonna see what we can do for Storm. Like, we wanna take him. So I was talking to a friend, and she said, you know, a lot of people uh, just use boots to for shoes. So. We're gonna see if so these. Does he have one boot on his foot? Yeah, it's just a walk. It's nothing crazy. I don't know if those will fit him. I know we're gonna try. So those are cob size. They probably won't. They're, They're not Finn size. They won't. Yeah, but Finn had like cob size. No, it yes. doesn't work like that. <laughs> Gosh. Also, I want to check your saddle when you put it on Storm t on Chino today. I want to bring a couple of extra things with us. So first, first things first. We're gonna try this on Storm if it fits. Wait. Then, what are the sizes on those? <laughs> yeah, he's like, I know I'm right. These are size two. Yeah, it goes by your horse's measurements. And Storm has small feet. So, he still has bigger feet than Finn. I don't know, Finn had... I'm pretty sure we tried them on and it didn't fit Storm. So, Finn, so Storm and, and Penny are the same height. And... They have different sized hooves. They, these fit Penny. She has small hooves. Well, we're gonna just see. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Then Sophie's gonna bring somebody else just to play with on the trail. You know, we Gabby and I risking our lives. All right, so we're gonna try this on Storm. If it fits him. I don't have to risk my life. You know, fine. Yeah. Have no wow. So if this fits Storm, then we're going to lunge him and see how he does with one shoe and one boot. And if he looks good, then we're gonna take him. If it doesn't, I mean, this is a long shot, but we're gonna try it. So before we move, we actually have to get rid of all this poop. We have to get rid of all of our hay. We have to clean our fields. We have to do all that stuff for this farm as well. So I don't know why Sophie's gone to get all the horses because we literally have to pack the trailer first. Just let him put his foot down. Yeah, it might be too tight squeeze. Too tight of a squeeze. Oh, it actually looks like it might be okay. I see space in there. Just wait, let's see. I just want to see where his toe is. I don't want to I don't want his toe to be Oh. It's at the edge. All right, well, that might work. He's dramatic. He's gonna lift up that leg. Oh Can you put it, do it all the way up and we'll just run him and we'll see how he goes. Oh, definitely better. Watch out, Gabby. <laughs> it's risky. They have energy. We've been moving so much this last week that we've only ridden, this will only be our second ride this week. But not to mention that there was a heat wave. We had no control. Yeah, that looks good. He looks good. It looks good. So let's bring some vet wrap so he doesn't get a rub. 
we have to pack the trailer before we do anything else. Sophie wants to brush them and hoof pick them here, but we'll have to hoof pick them again at home. So, okay, so somebody messaged, somebody sent, like somebody posted today and was talking about Chino's saddle and how if we make these little changes, he might be less bumpy. Bob so, up higher than the candle. Because so, it's designed to push me backwards, which it doesn't work. Sophie, Gabby's saddle was made to push her backward. It's made to go back. It specifically was designed to fix her position in the saddle. So that's why it looks like that on all the horses. That's such a good point. But I'm still going to try different things and see. So, so is that one? Yeah. So this is a half pad. But you know what? Like the... The, that is such a valid point. This is a shock absorbing gel pad and it is a, oh, I thought it was a rear riser. But I don't think this one is. I think this is just a. That's just a gel pad. That's just Mom, shock absorption. You should go yeah. step with your horse. Aw, I'm coming for ya. Mm -hmm. Helmet and boots. I'm literally gonna forget something. And this. So I have no idea where we're putting all the all the saddle pads when we move. I might put them in a cabinet so they stay not dusty. I'm gonna bring this just in case because it's true that Sophie's saddle was built specifically to sit back on the horse, Gabby. to Gabby's, to push her position back. So maybe, maybe like, and it worked for Storm. Let's try. We're gonna we're gonna mess around with saddle fit today, you guys. Just to see. Can't believe we're going on a trail ride. There's actually so much stuff to, to pack up. Like in the past, do you guys remember? I've always been like, oh, we're going on a trail ride and freaking out, like we're trying to remember all the stuff to pack. Clean your baby's eyes. Um and now I'm just like, hey, let's just stop by, grab some stuff, and get going. <laughs> She's like, hmm. So anyways, uh, there's some drama with the trailer. I've been practicing getting trail Penny on the trailer all the time and just going in like the two back doors. But today Sam says she has to go in the middle. Yeah, so you see her ears? Her ears came forward like, what? So we've never practiced that. So we're gonna go practice that. I gotta get some treats first. Gina's so excited. Storm's like, I don't know what's happening, but I don't like it. He already doesn't like it. Uh, Penny. All right, we're all set. Ready to load. See if Penny loads. Come on. Can I put her butt bar on? Well, you gotta wait, you gotta wait till she's ready. All right, here comes Chino. Get the butt bar. And then we gotta quickly, we gotta quickly do the thing. So, aw, oh, they're kissing. So you guys, like, I'm not used to loading trail or horses. I'm not used to like the routine of loading trailers. <laughs> she, they love each other. They literally love each other. Oh gosh, Chino has such a cute face. All right, so we decided to put Penny there. And Stormy Boy is going in the hot seat. Here, give him a treat when he gets in there. Ow. I'm not loading him, I'm giving him his hand. Here. We trained all our horses in. We yeah, treats. that means treats. Even Honey, and I didn't even train her. Yeah. I just do that, she's like, treat? So if we couldn't make the, oh, did you bring that wrap? It's tight enough, Gabby said. Oh. I don't want any rubs. Apparently I only but anyway, so if our trail is 10 minutes, right, so it's gonna be a three like gallop. seven minutes but for horses. Gallop, so we might can. Close the door. If Gabby does that trail twice on Chino, can you guys hear the excitement? Yeah. Well, that's a horse. Good boy. Spoke too soon. <laughs> okay, I, I'm. Those muscles. Um, I'm not trained for this. It might be him not 
Yeah, I think it's because dad was walking around over there. No, the wire. It touched him. Whose hat helmet is on the trailer? Mine. I don't. just put it there. All right, well, don't forget it there. This time I won't say anything. Okay, so I'm just gonna get the carrots, but I wanted to tell you guys something. So, shh. Sam says that if Penny won't get on the trailer, we're just gonna leave her there. So this may or may not be Penny's last time and Storm's last time at this farm. Like, I'm excited. Calm it down, Gabby says. All right, there you go. There you go. Oh, he's so sweaty. I know, touch him. Oh my God. His fingers will have water. How come he got so sweaty? Penny. Penny looks okay, she looks calm. Gino looks worried. He's got, he always has worried eyes, except for sometimes when he has really happy eyes. Hi, princess. <laughs> Yeah, you know, she doesn't like boys. Gino. Come away from Storm. There we go. Well, you have to move her. All right, here. And she knows that. Storm's like, this is interesting. He's like, you better not be sending me away again. Makes me sad. It's okay, don't freak, because I got water in my... Hold on, it's okay. You're going with your... Oh, there's a cord. It's okay. <laughs> this is your field. This is gonna be home. All right, oh my gosh. There's some rocks. This might be crazy. This might be the dumbest idea I ever had. And if it turns out dumb, I blame you guys. <laughs> Hold on, Penny. This is your winter field. It doesn't look so big with a horse in it. Just a trailer ride. You can put them in the stalls if you think that would be better. If they're, I'm just gonna hang, hook, tie mine to the gate, maybe. Yeah. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Don't you even try and eat that stuff. I know there were goats here before. Good thing I cleaned off all those. Cobwebs. He'll hide behind you. <laughs> he will. Don't let them eat that stuff. Don't eat anything. He's too strong. But I can handle him when I'm strong. So oh, I know. I can. Oh, I can. I'm closing one. Uh oh. <sighs> it's okay. It's all right. It's what are you eating? No, don't eat that. Oh, Jesus. I guess I'm doing more work in this barn. Uh oh, there's a fan on there. All right, I'm thinking we were not really very prepared here. Oh. Okay, I'm dying of sweat. We need a big fan in here. <laughs> Look, it's hey, starts. Thing. This thing? No, I'll just move the case. Should I put Penny in there? No, no. Penny's fine. She's standing. You got the calm one. As long as this gate is closed. Nobody's getting out. All right, well, that was a little bit stressful because we weren't really prepared. That's why I said, like, I asked everybody, where are we gonna tack up? And they said, at the trailer, but there wasn't a lot of room at the trailer. Hi, Chino. How you doing? Hi. <laughs> Once you put horses in here, it seems like a lot less big, but. <sighs> Somebody was mentioning that my saddle is really heavy to carry far and it is heavy for me because I'm old but one of the things I had to consider when getting a saddle was the how heavy it was for Penny and it's actually pretty light in terms of weather western saddles I actually discovered something else Penny hates being tacked up poof put some hay in front of her and she doesn't even notice that I'm tacking her up I can tell she's stressed though see how fast she's eating that hay and how like how her face looks worried I feel I feel frustrated, you guys, because Penny's trying to eat the hay in here and there's just little teeny tiny flakes of it, like dead flakes that you can't even get up. If I have to wait, like if we have to take all the hay out of here to move the horses in, it's not ever gonna happen. Like there's no way we can get, we need like a vacuum. <gasps> Could we vacuum the rest of this hay out? All the dirt is out. Yeah, the dirt is out. I'm gonna try it. 
Anyway, just seeing the horses here makes me realize how much work we still have to do. I feel like though, sometimes, because we can't keep the other house forever, sometimes I think like, you just have to move your horses and then figure it out as long as everyone's safe. And if they're not safe, you stay awake all night until you make everything safe. Right, <laughs> Sam's like, Sam's over here like, oh, I'm not doing that. All right, are we ready to go? Sophie wants to ride Penny because she's the calm one. Gabby's gonna ride Storm first because he actually, even though he's like such a beginner good horse, he has his moments. <laughs> Everybody trusts Chino. If you don't ask Chino to do anything, then he is just an easygoing, happy boy. And Sophie, okay, so this is a plan. Gabby's riding Storm first because Storm, 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 Storm. That's all I need to say is Storm. Um, Sylvie's gonna lead Chino down. All right, so we're gonna go down the trail and then we're gonna, we're gonna do, a, I don't know, I don't know. We're gonna figure it out. Let's go and figure it out. Should Penny and I go first? Hang on, wait, I don't even have a bridle on. Oh, all right, well, Penny wants to go. She's like, let's explore this place. Let's go out here and wait, Pen. No, this is straw and it'll feel really nice on your feet. Yeah. She's like, let me look. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. What are you doing? Oh my. You can eat this. This is your field. <laughs> eat this. Oh, could you imagine six horses in here and there? I think we're gonna use that one for an arena because it's the flattest. This is your new field, Pen. Remember I told you we're moving. It's gonna be okay. Oh, it's glorious outside. Our barn is too hot. You know those industrial fans that you get? Yeah. We need that. Somebody's yeah. cutting their grass. <laughs> there is a horse across the road. Do you hear him? What does she hear? Nothing. Oh, she's calling for her friends, I bet. They're coming. It's okay. Here over there. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for Sophie. I, for some reason, I trust Chino with my life, but I don't trust Storm. So I can walk Storm way better than I can walk Chino. I can walk Chino way better than I can walk Storm when we're at yeah. the place. Chino's so powerful when Chino's I. pretty powerful. Very patient waiting for me. So I think we're gonna be okay. Gabby should. Yeah, I'm getting off her. Yeah, I'm Stormy. It's your new field. Oh geez, these are so long. Mom, you know what would be great? If I could hop on Tina. Three, two, one, go. Good girl. It is so fast and bouncy. She is going to gallop me back home. <laughs> How was he? An idiot. <laughs> Why? Okay. 